Hello everyone, this is Matt from Smartfair, and today we'll be talking about Zephyr Scale Automate. For Zephyr Scale users who need to level up their automation, Zephyr Scale Automate is the test automation add-on that empowers them to expand their automation efforts so they can deliver better software faster. Unlike other paths to automation, Zephyr Scale Automate seamlessly scales your automation efforts with no scripting required. Zephyr Scale Automate makes automation easy for everyone so you can uncover every bug release faster, and automate across platforms. Zephyr Scale Automate is an extension of the Zephyr Scale platform. So you'll still go within your Zephyr Scale interface to unlock some of the features of the Zephyr Scale Automate. With the base Zephyr Scale instance, we do get the ability to automate without scripting. So we can take any test case that uses natural language within the step data and result format and we can quickly and easily run an automated test based off of that we'll quickly just do that now zephyr scale automate allows us to run four to six times more automated tests so we can expand our automation coverage with the ability to add four to six times more than no code test runs than in Zephyr scale alone. So I'll be able to execute this and the other test case, you know, four to six more times to really help expand our test case coverage because who doesn't like automation that's created for you? Not only will you have the ability to run more testing, we'll have the ability to run tests across browsers. So we can seamlessly cross browser test to ensure the applications functions flawlessly across different browsers too. For example, if we wanted to run this test across Firefox, Safari, Edge, we can quickly change the configuration and execute our test case. We also have the ability to change the profile view. If you want like a mobile view, a tablet view, or just like the standard desktop view, which I showed you before. Zephyr Scale Automate also allows us to utilize parallel testing. So we can easily triple our testing efforts by automating tests to run at the same time. So for example, any sprint that we have, we'll call this reflect sprint. We'll add some test cases into this sprint. We will add the regression test and we'll add it a couple of times actually. So for example, in this use case, I wanna test the same test case across different environments. Though we could run multiple test cases that are different in parallel as well, but what I want to do is I want to test across different environments. So whether it's like Windows environments or it's like a Android environment, anything like that. We're also gonna assign these testers just to myself really quickly. Now on the test player, here's where we can quickly and easily have that parallel testing capability. I can click run automated tests and you can see I have the ability to run my tests in parallel. I can change the browser configuration that I want and I can execute my tests in parallel. All test cases via the run automated test icon will be executed in Reflect. Zephyr scale automated runs on Reflect technology. That's why you'll see a lot of Reflect branding through the screen, and I'll refer to Reflect throughout today. One of my other favorite features of Zephyr Scale and Reflect is email and SMS automated testing. Sometimes some of the hardest testing workflows to test with any automation tool is one that utilizes an email or an SMS queue to do like a, a multi-factor authentication or anything like that. With Reflect, we do have that capability where we can account for email notifications or SMS notifications. Let me go and open up this test case. As you can see, we still have a pretty standard test case where we are you know, clicking on actions, validating the email is visible. The, these prompts are pretty familiar, but what the, this workflow actually does here, let's run this test. 
let's run it and watch the test live. Reflect has an email or a phone number that we are required to fill out as part of our sign-in process. So we'll be able to see right now the workflow that Reflect does. So what Reflect does is it provides us with an email as well as a phone number so we can test the capabilities of a multi-factor authentication or anything like that. So as you can see, Reflect does have that email or SMS message queue so we can perform the validations. Essentially, it will take the text and convert it to string so we will can validate it, put it as a variable, anything like that. Reflect also has its own recording capabilities as well. As you can see, we have the ability to add steps, whether they're visual validations, text validations, API calls, JavaScripts, or the email and SMS. You also have the ability to add your own recording here as well. So if I wanted to, I have the ability to re-record from points, add breakpoints, just allow me to essentially build out automation directly from Reflect. And remember, for example, say this test failed, maybe we need to add a, another step, or maybe we want to build a new test case as a whole. What we can do is we can add AI steps wherever we want. We can add visual validation, text validation. You can use record and replay and actually start recording the test steps. As you can see, click on the integrations link. It's still gonna implement like more of that natural language, but what happens here when I click save and update the test, automatically when we go inside of Zephyr scale, that test will be available. And I believe it's available in my other project. As you'll be able to see, the Swagger Hub email test, which was completely designed inside of Reflect via that recording capability. And every single test step, as you can see, is a recorded step minus maybe something that I added manually. I hope that was useful today and have a nice rest of your day.